I see a bright future for arts in Fairfax County. As chairman of the Fairfax County Board of Supervisors, it's important to provide activities and to provide programs for people to enjoy. And some of that involves the arts. I've had the opportunity to work with Arts Fairfax, and they're just a fantastic partner in bringing art and, and, uh, and bringing culture to Fairfax County. We have many, many smaller arts organizations that reach out to and engage people within our large county. Early in my career, uh, we were handed an opportunity to purchase uh, what had previously been a dangerous, uh, a dangerous prison. That has become the Workhouse Arts Center, which is, uh, is a successful repurposed uh, set of buildings that uh, are being used for the arts. How do you like it? The sky's cleared up. Beautiful night. I also uh, started a program called Braddock Nights. And that started because I was jealous, frankly, of the city of Fairfax. And I drove by uh, the city one evening and saw that they were setting up performances uh, at their town hall. And I remember thinking, oh, what a wonderful quality of life. And uh, as chairman, I established evenings on the ellipse. Uh, concerts and performances in the backyard of the Government Center. I also have spent time with the symphony. Chris Zimmerman, the maestro, the conductor, invited me to conduct the orchestra. I will have to say that that is probably the most unique experience that I've ever had during my time in local government. I'm very honored to, uh, to be receiving the Jinx Hazel Award. It's a, a premier award for people who have contributed to art in Fairfax County. It's important that we incorporate the opportunity for people to enjoy the beautiful things and that really is what art is all about. I'm honored to be counted among those leaders.